Hello, this is Miss Grab's video on how to set up your day book for my class, 8th grade language arts here at Crossroads. Um, I apologize for the quality of the video. It's not the best. Hopefully it's not going to be too shaky. But it should do the trick. So I have here my day book, um, a sample day book that I'm making anyway. Uh, on the front cover I put this die cut that's like a school bus. I did the chevron because that's stuff that I like. It kind of matches the classroom it, that I have. I liked the marble composition look so I actually left some of that on there but that's how I decided to decorate it based on my personality and my style. You can decorate it however you want. If you want to put pictures of yourself and your friends, if you want to put pictures of your family, your animals you like, or if you want to cover it in paper maybe and draw on it or something like that, put quotes on it. Those are all good ideas, but really it's up to you. Um, I have here an older one that I did. That's how I deck, put scrapbook paper on it. Again, this is your name and daybook. What are the requirements for that? As long as it stays appropriate, however you want to decorate it to fit your personality. All right, then on our first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go through your day book and number all the pages. Now I know this is time consuming but it'll make your life much easier as we use the day book. You won't have to be adding numbers, you won't, things won't get messed up, you'll make sure you're literally on the same page as everyone else. So you want to go through your whole day book numbering like this. So you can see that I did that through the whole book. I did up to about 25 for this sample book, but I want you to go the whole way through. So maybe just do that as you're watching a show or something like that. Spend a couple minutes labeling the pages. All right, page number one then here is your cover page. So you can decorate this however you want. I went, I had more of the chevron stuff, so I added that. I put a quote here that I like for the best answers, ask tough questions, put these little kids on here, school stuff. So I'm a teacher, so that reflects my personality. My book does in general. I want you to make your book reflect your personality. So if you want to put a quote here, if you want to put more pictures, however you want to do it, that's your cover page, but it does need to be decorated. Page two, I want you to leave blank. I wrote up on the top here just in pencil rubric page so I can remind myself that it's supposed to be blank and not to paste anything on there. Page three then is gonna be the explanation of your day book, which I gave you. So what is the day book? What should I put in it? A reminder of what things to put on the left side and the right side and your group roles. So as you're working in your groups, if you need to remember and you can't see the poster in the front of the room, those are there for you on page three. So you have to cut the margins off the page that I gave you and paste it in there. Page four, five, six, and seven are gonna be for your table of contents. Now we're gonna to add to this throughout the year, which is why we have to leave so much space. Your very first entry that you can put into it, uh, whatever date that you do it, I did it yesterday, which was the 25th. So you can do this whatever date you create your day book. And I have 825 day book info on page three. You don't need to do a table of contents entry for your cover page or your rubric page. I mostly am just doing this one as a sample. So the table of contents, I used a ruler to make nice lines here. I want you to do that as well with date, topic, page number. Again over here, date, topic, page number, date, topic, page number. And that is all you need to do to begin your notebook to set it up. We're gonna start working in it right away, so you need to get it set up as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. If you need any further help, please let me know. You can always email me at cgrab at wssd.k12.pa.us. Thanks.